turned myself to a pickle, Morty! Boo! Rick with you! I just turned myself to a pickle! A pickle Rick! Hey guys, some Labarock strikes back once again! Um, Dad? What is it, Beth? What are you doing? I'm doing a review on Spricker Boy Season 3, Labarock Strikes Back Tommy 2. Oh, okay. Hey, Rick, what are you doing? Oh, Jerry, I'm doing a review on, on Rick and Boy Season 3, but Labarock Strikes Back Tommy 2. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, Labarock Strikes Back. It's me, Jerry. I, I hope you uh, do well. I really love your videos and do well with your reviews. Oh, what's going on here? I can't do Summer's voice, guys. Oh, oh, hi, Summer. I'm doing a... Grandpa Rick, what are you doing? I'm doing Rick and Moy season three. Lama Rock Strike, I told me to. Oh, okay. So, anyway, I'm Lama. It's me, Rick from Rick and Morty. And today, I'm going to review on Rick and Morty season three. Hey, Morty, come here. We're going to review on Rick and Moy season three. Lama Rock Strike, I told me to yesterday. Of this is with you on <coughs> Trolls World Tour. Oh, okay, guys. I'm not doing Rick's voice the entire episode. The entire review because honestly, it might hurt my throat, and I don't want to end the hospital. So you can see, I don't want to end up with a stroke because if I do that voice for the whole review, so enough of that. Let's get started. So, based the plot is it takes place immediately of the amazing Brilliant Masterpiece season two, where Rick escaped from jail and all that stuff, and basically he told the story about how he got the escape from prison, and he went back in time. He went to get the session on Source. And he wants the session on sort of session on source and that became a meme and it became everywhere everyone demanded for and it's basically continue of season two now this season has been really devices it has been one of the most controversial season of rick and morley yep that's right season three and season four of the star wars the last jedi of the rick and morley seasons you, you it's a it's a you, you it's a love it or hate it review um, re season kind of like Star Wars season three and four it's a love it or hate it season because those two seasons people say they're underwhelming are not that great but people and this season has been controversial when it came out people's like it's good but eh. first two seasons were way better but as for me it's a good season but honestly it's sadly not as good as the amazing season two which season four I enjoy it but I don't know why people enjoy season four, but I'm still gonna continue watching the show onwards because this show is an amazing brilliant masterpiece. So let's get started. The very first episode was great. I love the it's basically into the session source thing. Yeah, of course, everyone demanded the session source in those videos. That was a great episode. And um I also and also Tammy was back and she be my bird person turned into Phoenix person, which is a reference to Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. And um, it's it was a great episode. Pickle Rick is the best episode. Season episode two, the one that the, the one's kind of like a reference to Man Max Fury Road. That was a great episode. I also like the episode where Evil Morty returns. That was great. And um, so yeah, and Pickle Rick is the best season, best episode of the entire show. And the Minecraft episode from the last episode was great. I mean, this season honestly. I like it, but I don't love this season as much as season two. Honestly, this is sadly the step down of the amazing season two. Then season four was at least a bit better than this season. I don't hate the season. It's a good season, but I don't think it's as good as the amazing season one and two. With season one and two, there are masterpieces. This is a slightly a step down. But honestly, I haven't got a worse episode of the show. But if I have one, one less episode of the show, I will do a rant on it. But I, so far, I have no worse episode of Rick and Morty. If, that, if there is, I will do a rant on it. But on and that, and then this season, um, Jer Jerry got divorced. And then um, this episode, uh, Jerry was depressed and um, he was sad. And that piano music playing in the background. And I used that clip as my reaction to Boss Burgers being delayed to next year, which... I felt bad for Jerry and um, he took it to a roller coaster and that episode someone went big that was quite hilarious and then we have um, Rick versus the president in season 3 for now there's some people that didn't like that episode my opinion I enjoyed that episode so it's a good season I don't it's not as good as season 1 and 2 but I really enjoy it as it is it's kind of like um 
people's thoughts on Star Wars Season 3, they said it was okay, but underwhelming, but not as good as the first two seasons. But on that, I am really hope Season 4 ends it nicely, because I know we're getting a Season 5. I really hope we don't have to wait two more years for Season 5, because we waited two years for Season of Rick and Morty. So thankfully, we're going we're gonna to get one straight away after Season 4. So, on a bad, it's a good season. I don't. It's not as good as season one, two, but I will be definitely going on DD anyway. And still yet to pick up Rick and Morty season one, two, three DDs. If HFV opens again, I might go ahead and pick it up because I, I love this series so much. It's one of the best adults I've ever seen in my life. It's way better than Mr. Freaking Pickles, which honestly. Mr. Pickles is one of the worst adult street shows I've ever seen in my life. It is an absolute horrible show. But this show is way better than Mr. Pickles. If, if you want to watch an adult street show, go watch this and do not watch Mr. Pickles. That is an awful series. On that, I give a season an 8 out of 10. It's great, but not as good as the first two seasons. That's my review on Rick and Morty Season 3, and I'm really looking forward to check out Season 4. The rest of, I will do with you on season four until season four finishes. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.